at the University of Maryland, we're one of the only epilepsy centers in this region that has a women with epilepsy program. It's a priority um, because of the fact that women need this, this more specialized and individualized care, and um, the best outcomes are for women that are treated um, under specialized care. With our program, um, we have a focus on caring for women when they're undergoing family planning or if they want to discuss um, contraceptive use, and then um, also care during pregnancy. And then when they get older and they're postmenopausal, we can have discussions about um, bone health or hormone replacement if it's needed. During pregnancy, um, we um, we'll evaluate the kind of seizure that a woman has and then select the best medication for, for a pregnant patient that um, will control seizures but also reduce or minimize risks potentially to the baby. And um, there is a lot of uh, drug monitoring that we do and a lot of counseling um, you know, for our patients in terms of safety with having seizures but also having a newborn at home. We've created a connection specifically with the maternal fetal medicine, which is the high risk obstetricians, and also with the psychiatry department. So when our patients are seen, um, we have really this comprehensive team approach where they'll see the epilepsy doctor um, who will take care of their seizures. We have epilepsy nurse specialist, um, a social worker, and then the connection with psychiatry and also the high risk OB doctors. We cover maybe a lot of topics that other physicians, you know, either didn't cover or didn't feel comfortable discussing. Um, and I think we have um, honest discussions, you know, about all the risks and benefits of our medications and, and how that can affect them throughout their life.